What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a couple of news stories for you and a question. Let's go. Our first story of the day has to do with the screen brightness of the S23, 23 Plus and 23 Ultra. A lot of information has come out about this and it's seeming like it's going to be the same across the board if you get any three of these phones. It's seemingly that you will get 1750 nits of brightness no matter if you get the regular, the Plus or the Ultra version of the S23. So kind of not exciting. It matches at least on the Ultra side of the S22 Ultra which was also 1750 nits of brightness. So the brightness has not gone up. It's going to stay the same, especially on the Ultra version. It is going up on the 23, 23 Plus because they were a little bit lower than 1750 last year but still why do they keep doing this why can't they just boom out everything and maybe they will when that the new director designer guy that's gonna head up uh, their phone division their their uh, especially the design and and everything of it is really gonna push the envelope starting next year with these phones and all the phones really next up as you can see from this screenshot Edwards Urbina has actually done a little hands-on quick unboxing of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. All my links will be down below if you, want to, if you want to see any of these up close and personal and watch the whole thing, it is linked down below. But he also shows off some photos of the zoom and how impressive it is on the S23 Ultra. So this first one shows like a telephone pole and you can see gets closer and closer. It doesn't really lose any quality per se on there and it looks pretty good. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the max zoom he used on that. I don't know if that's the 100X or the 30X or 50 or whatever, but it looks pretty freaking good, pretty happy with that. And it is something to look forward to. And also remember, this isn't even final software on these photos. Um, it will get improved over time. And by the time you get the phone, they'll push out an update. This next one is a comparison of the 30X zoom of the S23 Ultra versus the 7 Pro. And you can see these side by side. And when you just look at them side by side, you have to say the 23 Ultra probably looks better. I don't know if it looks, yeah, I guess it looks better. It's definitely more colorful for sure. I don't know if those are the, which one has the more natural colors in this photo, but it's definitely more colorful, more attractive to the eye. Um, in terms of clarity, Probably the Ultra, you can see a little bit more of the bumps clear out on the on the lime there or lemon, whatever that thing is. But what do you guys think? Which camera are you most excited about trying and having this 2023 year? Let me know in the comments down below. For me, if I had to bet, it's gonna end up being the 23 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro for me would be the most exciting cameras to use. Let me know about you in the comments down below. Below, without further ado, let's get into our one and only Q&A. AZ Real Channel, who wrote this question about 100 times in my, uh, my questions, said he got a Galaxy Z Fold 2 uh, from Facebook. He bought it on Facebook and then it kind of broke, had a black screen two weeks later. Um, he sent it into Samsung. They told him he has Samsung Care Plus. He wants to know basically if they're gonna fix it for free or they're gonna charge him. I would guess since it's probably out of warranty, you'd have to guess that even though it has Samsung Care Plus, they'll probably fix it. I don't know if they'll fix it for free, but it'll I would guess there's probably gonna be some um, fee upon that. I wouldn't expect it to be super high. It would probably be maybe a hundred bucks, 200 at the most, um, but I wouldn't expect anything more than that. So hopefully it'll be free though, but I guess you'll have to wait and see. I don't, I, again, I don't think it's gonna be a huge, huge fee, but it'll probably be something if I had to guess. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag question. We'll see you down the road. Peace.